He said we'd go hunting this morning. Why isn't he here? Where's he gone to? He said we'd go hunting this morning. Why isn't he here? Where's he gone to? just standing there. What's going on with him? Aloy, you're here. Did you want to be alone? No. We must speak. But I've been thinking about your training, Aloy. You've learned to hunt. Learn to survive. But I fear there's a lesson I failed to teach you. Would you learn it now? Of course. I'll always learn what you have to teach. There has been some trouble recently. It affords an opportunity to learn this lesson, but it will be dangerous. You must come prepared, or you will die. Descend into the embrace and hunt until you have gathered the parts for fire arrows. Fire arrows? What kind of trouble are we talking about? Once you have the parts, you will meet me there, at the gate beyond the village of Mother's Heart. Uh, the North Gate? At the edge of the Embrace? Yes. Now be on your way. I'll go gather the parts, but I'm also going to pay Karst a visit. Aloy, that man breaks the law every time he speaks to you. And I'm glad he does. I want to buy a trip caster, and no other trader will sell to outcasts. Stock it with ammunition, then. You'll find use for that weapon tonight. That sounds ominous. All right, see you at the North Gate. Something's really bothering him. for that. All right, time to gather the parts for some fire arrows. I should find a herd.
Calm, calm. Useful. Please. You're going no down. Will help. You want to talk to an outcast? I'm desperate for help. Whatever the consequences. What's the problem then? Trouble with your leg? Forget about me. It's my daughter, Arana. She's in danger. She went after a scrapper near Mother's Cradle, and I fear for her life. I can't even stand up, let alone go after her. Will you help me find her? 
I'll do what I can to help your daughter. Make sure she's all right. I'm begging you. Be Alana. Sounds like she's in trouble. I just want to thank you. Hey, thank you. I thought those Watchers were going to tear me apart. Your father sent me after you. It's time to go home. I figured. But I can't go back until I get my mother's spear from that scrapper. That spear must mean a lot to you. My mother made it not long before she died. I can't believe my father lost it. He didn't mean to. Scrappers are dangerous. I know. I just can't stand the idea that it might be gone forever. I'll look for your spear. You will? Oh, thank you. Go find your father. His leg gave out while he was searching for you, just south of Mother's Heart. Oh, no. Okay, I'll go to him right away. Thanks again. <sighs> Snow chill, bitches.
good for an old remedy. Verona's trail ends here. Must be where she saw the scrapper. If I follow its tracks, I should be able to find that spear. Mother's cradle. The trail ends here. I'll bet it crossed the river. Better check the other side. Time to see Karst and get a trip caster. No one else around. Looks safe to meet. My guess is he'll be waiting. There he is. Looks nervous. Well, well, well. An outcast on my doorstep. All mother protect me. Surprised you saw me the way you keep looking every other direction to make sure no one's watching. Careful there, or you'll sprain your neck. It's always a pain in the neck when you show up, girl, one way or another. Last time I visited, you had a trip caster available for trade. Still got it? I do. But you'd need to bring me a scrapper lens. What can I say? Special weapons don't come cheap. Oh, I can pay. Took down a scrapper not long ago. Stripped out the lens in perfect condition. I'll be the judge of that. Show me. you've got yourself a trip caster practice how to use it someplace else all right my life's exciting enough without a bunch of shock wire booby traps to trip over really could have fooled me <laughs> will you be around later in case I want to make another trade I'll be here same as usual bring me the parts you harvest from any machines you hunt the better the parts the more shards I'll pay be sure to take a close look at my inventory, though. Who knows? Maybe I've got something that could give you an edge in the proving.
day, another their trade. Is there a reason why you're acting so cranky today? Once you run the proving and get made a brave, you'll deal with traitors in Mother's heart. Maybe I don't like losing customers. Traitors who don't break the law and deal with outcasts, you mean? That's right. Our days of crime will be behind us, so long as you keep quiet. I guess that concludes our business. All right. See you around. I've got what I need. Time to meet Ross. There. Time to get that spear. A well-made weapon. Arana will be happy to have it back. gets past them. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, that's the last one. Need them soon enough. Well, I can. First you send a Rana back to me, and now you've got the spear. When I first called out to you for help, I didn't even know if you'd speak to me. I'm glad you did. And me too. I can't believe you got the spear back. Your mother knew how to craft them. It's of exceptional make. I'll never be the crafter she was, but she did pass along a few tricks. I'd be happy to take a look at your spear. Thank you. It sounds like she was special. I'm sorry for your loss. Well, because of you, I still have the spear to remember her by. You didn't have to help us, but you did. She would have admired that. Thank you, Aloy, for everything. Thank <laughs> you. 
Whatever they're hunting out there doesn't sound easy. You have the fire arrows. I do. Those explosions and shouts beyond the embrace. Is that the trouble you were talking about? You will know soon enough. Until then, we wait for dark. Wait for dark? I saw Karst and got that tripcaster I was talking about. I hate to think what that outlaw traitor charged for a weapon of that make. It wasn't cheap, but the caster is worth it. Perhaps. You'll know it's worth soon enough. Is something else bothering you? No, I'm fine. I don't understand. Those explosions are outside the embrace. What can we do from in here? The lesson will be taught in due time, Aloy. Till then, we wait. Are you worrying about what happens after the proving? What happens is clear. You will be accepted as one of the tribe, and I will still be an outcast. To be shunned. Rost, even if the tribe accepts me, I won't- There is much to do, Aloy. We will discuss this later. <sighs> okay. Still a while to go before dark. I guess I'll get some rest. Good idea. There'll be no time for sleep tonight. Opening a gate for an outcast? Some who are shunned reaped honor before disgrace. <sighs> so much for tribal law. I spoke to no one, and now we must both keep silent, for we are outside of the embrace. These are the true wilds, Aloy. With threats unlike any you have ever faced. That carcass? What sort of beast was that? The tribe calls it a sawtooth, and it's something new, something angry. Since they first started appearing ten years ago, they have killed many braves. Yeah. Follow the path. It's not far. That cabin? What happened to it? A machine, that's what. What sort of machine does that? The sort of machine you're hunting now. Oh. I see. I'll watch your carcass. I'll harvest the parts. Watch your surroundings. Get out of this. It won't be much farther now. Why are we the only ones out here tonight? Why can't the tribe's braves hunt this machine? They did. The kills we passed are theirs. And tomorrow, they will hunt again. They won't need to. This machine will be my kill. Or your death, if you're not careful.
These are helpful. An entire lodge wrecked by Sawtooths? How many were there? I didn't bring you here to answer questions, Aloy. I brought you here to deal with that. is yours to make, Aloy. Yours alone. No matter what happens, I will not intervene. You understand? You are on your own. I should stay out of sight. I can use the tall grass to approach. Okay, let's see. Where can I place my traps? Why did I bring you here? Not to answer questions. Aloy. Survival requires perfection. It was a test to hone my skills against a dangerous new machine. No. Follow. These are Nora hunting lands. They must be protected. If you hadn't destroyed the Sawtooth, how many braves might it have killed or injured tomorrow? The lesson lives within the question, Aloy. For years, you've trained to win the Proving, but only for yourself. As a brave, it will be your duty to fight for your tribe. My tribe? You said I wouldn't need them. But I never said the tribe wouldn't need you. The strength to stand alone, Aloy, is the strength to make a stand. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. That is the lesson you must learn. And remember it. After the proving. And after I'm gone. We're finished here. Follow. Dawn has passed. This will be your last day in the Embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. When it is time for you to go to Mother's Heart, I'll be waiting for you along the way. I'll go back to the cabin with you. I'm not heading there just yet. I have other plans. Oh, such as? I'll be waiting for you when it is time. I'll see you at Mother's Heart then. You will. No space.
Louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? Are you sure they're gonna let me in? <laughs> I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the Proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Here. Take this, too. Remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This... Attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now, I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This... This is goodbye. I'm glad to 
have this then. It will remind me of you, of everything you did, and how you helped prepare me for this day. Thank you. Heavier than it looks, but the cord is strong. May all mother bless you, Aloy. Day of all days. I have to keep my mind on the proofing. You will turn back, outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. Way. Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja, come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? It's you, isn't it? Over here. It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Whenever you feel like it. Uh, thank you, Tep. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe. 
Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. I like it, but... You'll have to oh, tell this when I'm gone. Oh, not supposed to go climbing on other people's roofs, huh? All life came from all gift mother. People, machines, beasts, all were her children. They lived alongside her. Aloy, over here. Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the Proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last-minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. Until next time. Next time, you'll be a brave. In a moment, we shall bless the Proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. Peace is peace. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by and the slavers. hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers Oz. and slavers! Uh, hey, hey, Luminance hold your fruit, Nora, uh, uh, Nora Faithful. Hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azaram, not Karja, so I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. Who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. A message that this poor priest means to read is an apology, straight from the lips of the 14th King. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Hey, thank you. <clears throat> an enunciation of gratitude, written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. <clears throat> Perhaps the card to have come to make amends. I won't deny this chance. Unknown device to do. Did you see those cards of the Just like mine. Like mother for you. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids them. <laughs> Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. Ah! Ah! What's wrong? Apologies. Ah, uh, malfunction. Oh, Lynn, you making friends with locals, are we? I'll, 
I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now, he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Now let me introduce you. Ring locked, impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The Vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers two of one. They might even give a Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but... It's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and... Well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. I'll even introduce you to my sister. She's got more connections than I do. I thought you said she was captured and killed by the last Sun King. Ha! Captured, yes. Killed, no. It takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away. Now she's captain of the entire Vanguard. That's quite a story. Maybe I'll tell it to you sometime over a drink. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too, so, uh, see you around, maybe? Start the blessing when all aspirants are in place. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. <laughs> Blasphemy, sisters. Aspirants. Before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. Mother, hear our prayer. What is a child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. There's Olin. The I have year. some questions for him. Hello, Olin. You know my name? Ah, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, 
north of the claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've delved yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain, or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. You're not a very convincing liar. Do you always accuse people you've just met of lying? Only the ones who aren't telling the truth. Fire and spit, girl. I'm a plain hammered man with nothing to hide. You don't believe me? That's your trouble, not mine. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need to bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. Hmm. Ruse even better than last year, and that's a feat. Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard? I figured it was the latrine. Your... your very presence here! <sighs> well, well. Look who's come in from the wild, the motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. We saw you talking with the outsiders. Couldn't convince them to take you either, huh? Aw, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the Proving. Too bad for you that I'm gonna win it then. <laughs> I've trained all my life for this. If I lost to you, I'd make myself an outcast for life. Don't overestimate yourself. You wouldn't last long in the wilds. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. Yeah, the look on your face when I knocked that stone out of your hand was pretty entertaining. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for Boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, Outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. Nice job handling Boss. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. 
I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. So, your first day in Mother's Heart. What do you think? You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. Comforts and distractions. That's what I think. Not all comforts are bad. Comforts are weakness. You sound just like my mother. You can always go back to living in the wilds if you have to. In the meantime, get some rest. yourselves what will it take to get you out of here Razor Shattered outcast. Looks like you'll need another. Dead last, girl. Might as well walk from here. Boss will win, Urvala. But you'll be made a brave so long as you finish. Oh, now. That's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. Better dead last than dead altogether. Whoa, 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 
whoa. My old mother, are you crazy? You're gonna kill yourself. It doesn't get any easier. You're insane to go that way. That's it. No, wave it forward Just now. Stop right there. Just turn around. Who's in the lead? I can't see. Fox, the baller right behind us. Come on now. Faster. Stop dragging. We gotta keep going. The outcast. On the old trail? Is she crazy? Good. I'm gaining. Look! The outcast yeah. is catching up! Gotta keep going! Yeah, Come on yeah. now! On the old trail? Is she crazy? Good. I'm gaining. Look! The outcast is catching up! How'd she get up there? An outcast? Win the proving? Never! For she is a brave now. You did it. As are you all. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. But it is Aloy. Once outcast, and now brave. Who is first among us? Ah! survivors.
on the ridge. There's more of them. Descend while we have a chance. Get back! use these. My turn. I'd have to leave something else behind.
burn it all, then to your task. As you command. Dying. <gasps> to take her there is blasphemy. She should be near her mother. Uh-huh. <laughs> 